And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson. With me, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And reporting courtside, it's Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Ayton's a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor, saying, I just want to be able to guard one through five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he is not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> and the talent to deliver, Allie, for sure. Thank you. While we're still in the stage of the season where new teammates might not be in sync, RJ, how long do you think it takes for a team to gel? Well, it depends on the amount of turnover. If you're talking about adding one or two different guys, that's something versus adding five or six. After training camp and preseason, teammates have a better chance to kind of figure things out, and they should be on the same page by now. Here are the five for the Suns. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Bridges in at the three, small forward. And for the Clippers, Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. Morris and Zubats play together in the frontcourt. And it's Kennard in at the small forward. Sharp find by Paul, one of the best passers of all time. Back to Jackson. Shoots over Paul. Jackson can't get it to go. And there's the foul. foul. It's on Ivica Zubac. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. To the paint. Here's Booker. Craig passes to Booker. That one goes. Now he's one for two. The top scorers in the league, guys like Booker, they get buckets when it's hard. George against Booker. Pass to Jackson. And there's the drive. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Personal foul. Second team foul. here in the first quarter. Paul with it. Guarded now by Morris. Five to shoot. And there's Bridges. That's good. On the assist from Paul. They've come out strong three of their first four to start the game. All right, here's a tip for the defense in this one. Avoid sending Chris Paul to the line at all costs because he will punish you if you do. Hits the trifecta. Confident shot by George off the hot pass. Doesn't waste time thinking about his selection. Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. The Clippers have gone two of three from the floor. Well, when it comes to free throw shooting, Paul is one of the best in the league. Well, in 2021, he was the best in the league, hitting 93% of his shots. He was in the strike. He's simply better off letting him take the shot. And Phoenix has possession. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Yeah, if you allow a team to shoot such a high percentage in their own building, you're going to have a big hill to climb. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, either the live video game, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. So probably his most famous sketch himself, dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year.
First free throw is good. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. The Clippers making a switch here. Batum's checked in. Aiden hits them both. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Now here's Kennard. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. It's good. Out to a hot start. Four mates and five shots to begin this ball game. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. That's going to be over and back. Watching the line on that one. LA basketball. Now here's Jackson. 23 points for him last game against Detroit. Here's George. Drops in the layup for two. George has got seven points in the game. Sturdy play from George in the paint. Getting by the contact into his finish. The Suns trailing. And the foul called on Nick Batum. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Clippers on D. Bridges finds Booker. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Nice pass. Such a unique talent on both ends. That time Booker showing us his vision. Jackson, the pass to George. Out of bounds. Oh, Gonna be Phoenix's ball. Sounds basketball. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Picking up that Delay second foul early is tough. You'll have to be careful, and we'll see second how much Coach can trust foul. him to not get that third. Team All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring Devin breakdown Devin. for the Suns. Devin Booker, two shots. First one falls. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Both free throws good from Booker. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy Clippers. win. Now, Marcus L.A. Morris is consistently senior. a playoff Taking team. Two shots. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. That one misses. Normally, he sinks all of his free throws. The defense got lucky there. Booker for three. And Aiton with the seven. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7'5 seven wingspan. Aiton beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now here's George. He had 16 in the win against Detroit. 
He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. So it's Phoenix now, following the score by the Clippers. Back to Paul. Down low. And it's Bridges with the jam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Oh, oh, nice shot by Morris. He's good two. enough where it takes a lot to bother him at the rim like that. From the high post. Here's Aiton. And Aiton with the stop. And this is how dynamic Aiton can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, please. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They defeated Detroit in their last game. That game could have been a lot closer than it was, but they were just too sharp down the stretch. It was a very solid game for them, and the score might not tell the story of just how superior they were. The Suns making a switch here. Sharich checks in for Craig. Okogi comes in for Bridges. Lee, he's checked in for Devin Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. A long, strong forward. Covington shows the ability to finish inside. Payne finds Sharich. Lee on the wing. Powell covers. Back to Sharich. The three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Powell outside. Pass to Batum. Here's Covington. It's hauled in by Sharich. I thought he had that ball sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Always a nice way to start. He makes his first one. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point, but these teams, they are built to score, so... Now here's Batum. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Count it. The Suns leading. Pass to Okogi. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Lee. Now covers. And here's Payne outside. And he can't get that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. Powell outside. 144 left in the first. No well, they falls. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Okogi to the middle. With the stuff. Looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Right side Covington. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. We've got 113 left now in the first quarter. Here's Payne. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside Covington. To the inside. Here's Batum. That one is off. Ayton with the defensive effort. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Lee on the wing. Back to Payne. Here's Okogi. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Nick Batum. And he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Josh Okogi. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Coffee, he's checked in for Batum. Biombo, he's checked in for Phoenix. Shamit comes in for Lee. He 
He's perfect from the line this time. 36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to man. Here's Coffee. Charge covers. Good on the bucket. Nice clean bounce back. Sometimes a fundamental is you all you're going to need. Twenty-six seconds left in the first quarter here. Who poked away? Inside. Here's Wall. And the big on, finish Wall. by Wall. An athletic display by Wall. Letting the defense know he can own the rim. And the foul called on John Wall. John Wall. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now. And they'll go to the line. At the line for the Suns, Cameron Payne. At the line for two. And he drops the first. Good on both. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Covington inside. Biombo's there. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. At the line for LA. To the strike, Terrence Mann. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. It's both from the stripe. From deep. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And so it's DeAndre Ayton making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. We'll be right back with you shortly. Get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. They're just out-hustling them on the boards, punishing them for refusing to box them out accordingly. At an annual ritual, players finding out their ratings at NBA 2K. All right, Richard, you were customarily happy with your rating, yes? I didn't really care, but a part of my condition of working for 2K is they said that they will retroactively change my rating to 100. The first 100 player. You deserve it, man. Pal and George are out on the wings. Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. And it's Jackson in it to one. That's who's out there for the Clippers. The Suns trailing. Paul with it. He's picked up by Zubots. Uncovered. Shannon, no good. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Pass to Zubats. Powell right side. Two shots, two makes. Norman. Off to a good start. And four feet of the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And here's Paul. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. George against Bridges. Craig passes to Paul. Here's Shaman. Six to shoot. Driving in. And he lays it up and in. Shaman's got his first points of the night. Not the best pick I've seen, but like, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. Here's Bridges following the score by the Clippers. Outside Paul. Oh, 
Out to Craig. Let's go with a three. That shot is off. And Los Angeles the other way now. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. And they'll be reaching the back half of a four-game home stretch. Zubac passes to Morris. It's not going to go for him. Zubac with the steal. Pass to Morris. Oh, the slam! the momentum that's the last thing you need to happen down the stretch let's see how they respond to the devastating punch so it's phoenix now following the score by the clippers back to shamit and the shot's good shamit's gotten four this quarter the defense kind of opened up for him and he took full advantage well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Aiden, he's checked in for Phoenix. Devin Booker comes in for Shamit. Outside Paul. Shot from 12. Another one falls for Phoenix. There aren't a lot of guys in this league who shoot mid-range, but Paul, he's one of them. George against Bridges. Nice shot by George. George has got 11. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. The Suns have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Outside Paul. Pass to Bridges. Back to Paul. All alone. The Clippers grab the miss. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Up top, George. He's guarded by Bridges. Yep, count it. He's got 13. You know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. And the Suns shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Bridges outside. Up top, Booker. Pass to Paul. Yes! And it's Chris Booker Paul. with the setup. Booker's got three assists in the game. The defense looking lazy there. You can't allow Paul to get inside like this. That's just asking for trouble. Now here's George. 13 points in the game. Uses the glass to finish the way out. George has got eight points in the quarter. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. Phoenix calls timeout. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Here's Payne. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Can't get it. He's now one of four from the floor. George with it. He's got 15. Wall finds Batum. It's hauled in by Sharks. And there's the foul. It's on Ibiza Zubac. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. The Suns have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Here's Booker. And there's the rejection. George passes to Wall. On the wing man, Booker defending. Batum, right side. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Clippers lead by seven. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalized. And Phoenix shooting at 44% in the second. Decent rate. 
Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to George. Up and in on the layup. And now it's a nine-point Clipper lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Clippers. And for the Suns, their shooting has been great this game. 58%. Here's Lee. Outside Payne. That one falls. His Cameron second make Payne. in five attempts. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. George outside. The three is up. Here's Zubox. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. And Phoenix has possession. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Payne, pass to Aiden. Over Zubac. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. Two shots. That's good from Aiden. And it didn't take long for Phoenix to match the offer sheet Aiden signed with the Indiana Pacers. Now, there was talk they might let Aiden walk after that fallout during their playoff exit. But Phoenix knew they needed to keep Aiden to remain a contender. Covington's checked in for Batum. And so he hits both. There's a minute 17 left in the half. Pass to man. Now here's Zubats. Carries it down low. Zubats has gotten four this quarter. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. One oh two left in the first half of basketball. Payne pass to Sharich. Phoenix no good that time either. Here are the Clippers. They're on a 14-6 run. Up top, Zubats. Back to Wall. To the middle. Kicks it to George. From outside the arc. Hook it. He's now 9 for 11 after that one. I just love the ball movement. For Phoenix, they've gotten 5 of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Pass to Lee. Outside, Booker. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Booker's got six. Booker with one of the most effortless strokes you'll ever see. Wall, the pass to Covington. Here's George. Here's Zubats. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. And this second quarter has been all about the offensive glass, thanks to their high level of activity. That's good from Aiden. On the assist by Booker. Devin Booker. Booker's got four assists now tonight. Here's Covington. And the baseline jumper, no good. And so it's Los Angeles. Hurling is breaking the action up 10. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie the Force. Allie. Thanks, guys. Alongside Ty Lue and Coach, what's the focal point for this team as you approach the second half? Just playing hard, first of all. And then, you know, playing with pace offensively, they're doing a good job of getting to the basket. And then defensively, they're just trying to work things out. They've been pretty good. Pace so critical to your team's success this year. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Paul George taking care of business in this one. 
He had 20 points, two assists, and one rebound. What'd you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Clippers? Ball movement was a real factor for them in offense. They played unselfishly with patience. The guys got shots in their favorite spots. When you get those high percentage looks, and Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Well, it's never fun. When you're playing against the team, that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense. It didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Got two quarters left to go in regulation. Paul George has been sensational. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Well, Los Angeles shooting 74%. Just an unbelievable offensive display here. On the court right now for the Suns. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Torrey Craig out there with DeAndre Ayton, and it's Bridges in at the three. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Booker. Shot from 12. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number five here tonight. George outside. And here's Jackson. Back to George. 4-3. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Bridges. About a minute played here in the second half. For three, Booker. He drops it for range. Booker's got nine points. This is Booker at his most dangerous. No hesitation right there. From 13, that doesn't go either for George. The Suns trailing. And there's the foul. It's on Ibiza Zubats. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Now at four fouls in the game, he'll start to have to be a little bit more careful with his defense the rest of the way. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. On defense, the Clippers. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Paul. And the shot goes. Chris Paul. Paul's got his third basket on the night right there. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. Jackson outside. And he gets it to go. He has six. RJ, you're in the middle of a few trades in your career to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate that. <laughs> Look, there's pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. Here's Paul. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. And that one drops. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Jackson, the pass to Kennard. Aiden against Zubats. Unable to get that one. And Phoenix the other way now. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in the faceoff. That game marks the start of a four-game homestand for the club. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spot they needed to make a little bit as they try to even this thing up. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That'll be a second foul of the game for the Clippers. Batum checked in for Zubats. And Norman Powell subbed in for George. And a change for the Suns. Biombo, he's checked in for Aiden. 
Right around three minutes into this second half. Booker for three. The Clippers grab the miss. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Batum Nicholas gets the bucket. Batum. Count it. Pass from Reggie. Now Paul. Give him eight. Timeout call to Suns. And grant a career resurgence for Reggie Jackson. Yeah, B.A., after dealing with injuries, even at one point considering walking away from the game, he's found renewed success. And he's shown he's got plenty left in the tank. And the Clippers making a change here. Coffee's checked in. And the change for the Suns. Shamit's checked in. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Back to Paul. Launches it. And the Suns miss again. Yeah, that's a shame because I'm not sure the defense will let him get a shot that good again very soon. Pass to Coffey. Jackson with it. He's guarded by Bridges. Shoots from 12. Jackson can't get it to go. For Phoenix, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. All right, let's get a report from Alley. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. Morris passes to Powell. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Shamit. Softly drops in the floater. And it's now only a five-point Clipper lead. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Jackson finds Powell. Now Batum, defended by Biombo. Let's it fly. Here's Morris. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Paul. 11 points in the game. Bridges misses. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Coffey. Shoots over Bridges. And the basket by Coffey. And now a nine-point Los Angeles lead. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Here's Paul. And he converts the layup. Chris Paul. Paul's got nine points now in the second half. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. And adds a few more points to their lead. Showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. The Suns have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's Biombo, and Biombo slams it home. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And last year's outcome, so unfortunate for Paul and the Phoenix Suns, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the best record in the league by eight games. It kind of seemed like Paul might finally get that ring. Just a heartbreaking loss for them against Dallas in Game 7. Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Man comes in for Morris. Pass to Coffey. Powell against Paul. Powell, that's good. Powell's got six. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window. There. And it's good for two. Chris Paul. Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself. Chris Paul calling his own number. Here's Jackson. Yep, that one's good. Give him eight. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Outside Paul. That three's off the mark. 
Los Angeles has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Powell passes to Covington. From down in the low post, it goes. And the Clippers lead by 11. Phoenix has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Sharich. Payne with it. Back to Shamit. Now Paul puts up a three. Clock at six. Paul with another miss. Powell outside. Outside Covington. From deep. Rebound by Shamit. The Suns shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. Okogi. Kept alive. Here's Sharic. The layup misses. Well, the Clippers shooting nearly 60% from the floor in the third. Powell for three. The shot no good. It's Shamit on the wing. Shots good by Sharic. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. John Wall is out there with Terrence Mann. And it's George in at the three. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Plays like that, so easy for him. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. They're trying to come back in this game. No, bottom line, it's about energy and effort. Exemplified by a possession like that. The shot's good. And the Clippers lead by nine. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. Here's Booker. Outside Payne. Back to Booker. To the wing on the left. Payne against Wall with the teardrop. Here's Aiton. Wall with the defensive effort. Los Angeles shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. Back to Morris. Pass to Wall. George for three. The shot that time not on target. And Phoenix the other way now. And the foul on Marcus Morris. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. And there's the foul. It's on Ivica Zubac. That'll be foul number five on him. Well, he needs to be careful. One more foul, and he's done. Pass to Bridges. Back to Payne. Outside Booker for three. Yeah, just an outstanding defender. 
George's timing and feel for how to guard guys is a valuable commodity. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Devin Booker. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Clippers. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. At the line for LA, Paul George. At the line for one. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals, but without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Shooting for Phoenix, Torrey Craig. Shooting one. One shot. Clippers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. It's George on the wing. Booker defending. They push it up four on three. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, and the jam by Ayton. Excellent timing by Ayton on the alley you pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. And the ball out of play. The Suns will have it. Now here's Payne. Outside Craig. From downtown. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubox has got his seventh rebound here tonight. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Wall, the pass to George. Shoots over Booker. And again, no good by the Clippers. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the middle. Oh, wait, and the foul called on John Wall. Second that's foul number two for him. Four yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. Here's Aiden. Outside Payne. Kennard against Bridges. Outside Craig. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. Paul George pulls it in. The Clippers in the lead. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. It's just so hard to stop without fouling. I mean, George can beat you with length, with skill, and with intelligence. And the first one at the line is good. And just one of the most complete players in the game today. George's two-way game and strong leadership traits are reasons why he's a star. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. For Phoenix, they've gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Elbow shot. Here's Craig. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his third personal foul. Two shots. Five. Elbow. Two. 
City defeated. Tory Craig at the line for two. Shooting two. Falls for Craig. Both good from the line that time. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They just committed too many fouls. While you don't want to give up easy looks, you also don't want to give away points. It's been a non-stop parade to the free throw line. For And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball, attack inside. Use your options. Okay, thank you, Allie. A nice shot by Zubats. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's Aiton. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Wall, the pass to Morris. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. I just love when teams make it work down low. Outside Payne. That's good from Craig on the assist by Payne. Payne's got four assists in the game. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. George against Booker. George, good. George has got six points in the quarter. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Here's Booker. And the foul on Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris. That's his third foul so That's far. Bonus situation in effect. So we'll head to the line for two. What you have to admire about Devin Booker is how much he scores the rock, as well as all the different ways he's able to finish. He makes a first, and Booker is the guy you can lean on to help shoulder the offensive load, Richard. Yeah, he's comfortable taking a lot of shots for his team. He's a volume shooter for a reason, because he understands how to score at an efficient clip, too. Jackson, he's checked in for Los Angeles, and the Suns also making a change. Paul's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Jackson, the pass to George. Over Booker. And he buries that one. Back rim it in. George has got 13 in the second half. An elite player in this league. It's Paul George stepping up, scoring in bunches tonight. A nice shot by Booker. Here in the second half, you see they've gone to the long ball to try to keep up. Jackson finds Zubats. For three, George. Here's Morris. And how about that? Marcus Eight for nine Morris now. Senior. Stay One, with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Unloads from 13. Booker no good. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Zubak passes to Jackson. George outside. Launches a three. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his sixth assist of the night. A fantastic three-point shooter. All George needs is a little airspace, and he's golden. 
And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for the Suns, DeAndre Ingram. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw, and the 75 list came out last season, the top 75 players in NBA history. RJ, who do you think was the biggest snub? Without a doubt, the biggest snub was Dwight Howard. When you see what Dwight Howard was and was able to do, and I understand if you want to look at the last five, six years of his career, but don't gloss over the first 10. He led a team to the NBA Finals, battling against the Lakers as the best player on the team, dominated the Eastern Conference, beat LeBron James, and we've seen how hard that is to do in the Eastern Conference. So to me, he is one of the top 75 players of all time. Pass to Paul. Bridges outside. And here's Aiden. He's guarded by Zubox. Aiden, no good. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. And here's Jackson. 127 left in the final quarter. And George with the jam. And we know George is a great shooter. But when he's attacking the rim like that, it gives this team a whole different attitude. Here's Booker. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Booker's got 10 points in just the second half. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Clippers. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Paul George. He came up with a bucket every time they needed him to. Great effort on offense, and he was a difference maker. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And that's an intentional foul. Chris Paul. First personal foul. Third team foul. George outside. Count that one. George has got 42 in the game. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. Even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throw now. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by eight. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? And they need to execute fast out of this break. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Paul George. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Well, you know, he'd been struggling lately. This one was a big one for him. He roared back, made sure to snap that cold streak tonight. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A nice shot by Booker. And since going to the finals back in 2021, Booker's earned the reputation of a winning player. And he commits the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Take a line for your shot. Paul George taking two shots. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And the second of 
two is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Here's Booker. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. George's shot is good. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Pass to Bridges. Paul for three. Gets the three to fall. When the going gets tough, you got CP on the side. He steps up. What a win. So the Clippers win it. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Well, Paul, this team seems to be rounding into shape. What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this one up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.